Okay, that wasn't too bad. And now I can get it cleaned out. And there will be no dividing today. I am not in the mood to tackle this individual jungle here. Just, just these plants will make a jungle. And can you imagine the three to four foot spikes? Oh, no, they belong out here in the garden where they can shoot off those spikes and just look beautiful. All right, that's three of them. Three very large grammatophyllums. <sighs> that is the name of it. Okay, pardon me, but this is a job. Muffet, you got it made, don't you? <laughs> All right. Okay, so now I'm going to get the smaller ones that are uh, tucked away there, back there uh, on the bin. I believe there's two back there, but I won't know until I actually go back down. Now, those I will probably divide because they're small and easy to manage. But these big guys here coming out of the pot, I can't, I can't do that. That's, that's three large grammatophyllums in four-gallon pots that need to be in a five-gallon pot that I don't have right now. So... I might go to the Home Depot today and get the five gallon pots like this. That's as large as they come at Home Depot. They're buckets and poke some holes in the bottom of it and let and maybe spray paint it and let that be that. Because ordering five gallon pots or even bigger, oh God, that means they're going to grow bigger. I don't know what to do with these big things. All right, let me, the camera is heating up and I can feel it heating up in my hand. So let me get with the rest of these. Okay, I got them all pulled out from back there. These two, there's one there, there's another one and he's putting out a, probably putting out another new growth there because it's not spiking season. So it's still in the, it's growing phase. They don't get a break. They don't get a winter break. They, they, in my environment or in my uh, micro climate, they grow constantly. As you can see, you know how small of a pot, my original pot, I received as a gift a couple of years ago. And I'll attach that video to this video to show you exactly what not to do, even though it was a gift. I don't believe I ever would have purchased this plant, but, uh, and believe it or not, I gave plenty away, and it's, I know those people are suffering, because they, I talk to them constantly, and they're a beast, they got them in their own little 200 square foot plot, because I really believe they would fill it, so there's one, two, three, four, five, three very large ground matophyllums and four gallon pots. And these are in probably, I don't know, half a gallon containers. Because this actually, this actually is a, is a gallon, 128 fluid ounces. And compared to that, even if it was sideways, yeah, it'd still be more of a half a, more of a gallon container I would say but anyway I'm gonna leave them here and if it rains on them that's a good thing and then uh, perhaps later we'll come out and clean them up doesn't look like they need very much cleaning just you know just the dead leaves just pull out the dead leaves and I don't have any more food to feed them I think I'm gonna stop feeding them those uh, epiphyllum queen of the night buds when she buds I normally, uh, hope I don't step on Muffet. I normally feed them the bud before uh, the plant take the energy back, and it looks like I have plenty coming. So I hate to throw those buds away, but I got a feeling those uh, buds are really, really feeding these. Uh, here's three. And that's the third one. Feeding those uh, grammatophyllums like crazy because oh there's another one right there i believe my camera is about to shut off because it's definitely overheating so i'm gonna let it cool down and come back out and i'm gonna cool down myself because that was a job 
And uh, me and Muff going to go in the house and get some cool air, some AC, and then we'll come back a little later. You just like I thought, it's still going to matter for them day, and there were, there was no rain in the forecast whatsoever. And, of course, rain again today, Sunday. So we'll come back and check on the gramatophyllums a little later. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. Mm, well, looks like we got a... Well, I don't know if this is a short reprieve from all that rain or... We got a little break, so I'm going to get back out here. And just take a quick look at the... Uh, will you butt out the way, Muffet? Oh, my poor little ocean view table is soaked. Those are waves, actually. That's why I got it to go with this uh, decompression theme, the ocean. So those are little waves. It's supposed to depict waves. But anyway, let me go out here and see how... I just knew the table would have fell over because these these uh, grammatophyllums are so heavy. But this is the first one that goes right there on that stand. And it looks pretty good. I'm going to clear out a lot of that debris so I can see. Uh, oh, that's, that's a new growth popping up through there too, or a root. I'm not sure, but that's what I need to do to see if uh, I'm still getting new growths on these guys, which I know I am. And that was trying to get past that <sighs> okay well they did get a nice drink definitely a nice drink there's a nice fat new growth right there yeah and there's a nice fat snail right there it's probably sweet and there's a tiny new growth behind the snail which really looks like a spike but we'll keep an eye on that. That could very well be a spike. But in my microclimate, these are these chromatophyllums are subject to do just what they want to do. So basically, I want to okay zoom off. I want to clear out a lot of the dead leaves, the chromatophyllum leaves, because they don't break down like they should in the chromatophyllum pot. So they just stay there in a mildew. So I have to clean their leaves out, but they would eat other uh, plant leaves other than their own leaves. They don't eat their own leaves, but they'll eat any other flower bud. Trust me. But that's what I need to do before the rains come back. But it looks like the sky is pretty clear, but it's subjected to... Uh, it's subjective. It'll, it'll, it could still rain. It doesn't matter. But I'm trying to see. Oh, that's a nice swirl of clouds there. But yeah, they got a great drink, and I know they're happy. See the leaves are coming out of the basket there. These things will grow in anything. Got your roots here. I just take the buds and throw them on top, and. Uh, fine was just a this this was the trash can gramatophyllum here that little trash can gramatophyllum that I threw away not knowing uh whether it was gonna come back or not and look how big look how big that's three fingers right three fingers thick and that's exaggerating because it's really thicker than that but yeah so I'm gonna uh probably in the morning because they're really wet and soggy now and I don't I don't really want to get wet. I just want to clean them out. Yeah. And I uh, put some put some slow release in their baskets and and put them back in their positions. And that's what I'm going to do because I can't divide these. They're just too big. Oh, Muffet is creeping back there. She normally don't go. Well, since I've moved the table, she can get back there now. But she <laughs> could have get stuck. A <laughs> little nosy dog. Always getting into something. But, yeah, these are these are huge. I, I can't do anything with this plant. 
I think some of them I'm going to take and stick in that position over there on a on a center block stand and just let them grow where that bird's nest fern is, which is huge. Yeah, let me see if I can get that for you. That's that bird's nest through there. Okay, let me walk over and show you my bird's nest fern. It's ridiculous. There it is. Right there. There's my bird's nest fern. That's a big guy. And I'm just waiting for it to fall off, off the uh, off the arbor. But I'm going to sit some of the gramellophyllums in here with cinder blocks up against up a, up against the uh, the trellis there or the arbor and then they'll grow out this way they'll grow uh, west they're going to be set there east I'm going to build some more stands for them and give them plenty of room because they're really crowding out this area here yeah that's what they look like and trust me it might seem small to you but that, there's nothing small about these plants they're huge they're, they're very big big overbearing plant so we're going to let them sit there and if it rains again today and uh you ready to go inside inside oh girl you okay okay well i'm gonna continue to clean them out and put some and put some uh slow release down in there and that's gonna be that and look for what i think are spikes which i doubt but i just you just never know it could be spiking you know some of the new growths look just like spikes and then when they when they mature they're new growth so i can't predict what is a spike here but i can say it's possibly a new growth so i'm gonna let you go and i'm gonna finish cleaning out these big guys yes i am because that's exactly what they are big gigantic what inside no you gotta go pee pee what pee pee <laughs> you know how to tell me what you want what you want you just want to play around with me probably this is not muffet play time okay so i'm done with this and uh, we'll get back with you soon Ugh, i don't want to get wet coming through there really wet Really soggy. I'm gonna let Muffin out. Ma, where are you? You gotta go pee pee? Okay, going to the fence. Okay, let me let her out.